In simple human terms, there's no commodity more valuable than fresh water, a grim truth for millions who don't have access to it. Tonight on The National, we conclude our special series on water in one of the driest places on Earth, where a shared crisis is turning old rivals sort of into partners. When it comes to water, Israelis, Jordanians, and the Palestinians are all facing the same dilemma. High demand, low supply. But as Derek Stoffel discovered, goodwill, technology, and trust could go a long way towards building water security. They come from around the world to immerse themselves in the waters of the Jordan River. This is where Christians believe Jesus was baptized. Along with the nearby Dead Sea, water is part of the history. It's symbolic here in the Holy Land. But there are looming concerns of a region-wide water crisis. Particularly in Jordan, one of the driest countries on the planet. And climate change could make it worse, with fears that rainfall could drop by a third by the start of the next century. Right now, Jordan's water reservoirs are only 60% full, and the reserves will drop as temperatures soar in the summertime. Influx of more than a million refugees from Syria has also constricted supply. The situation's so serious that this mosque has cut off the taps. Water is flowing into this residential tank in the capital, Amman but for only about 12 hours a week. The restrictions from the Water Authority mean Jordanians have to scramble to make sure their own reservoirs are filled. It's why you see tanks dotting rooftops across the country. Residents have to make sure enough is stored up to keep the taps running for an entire week. It means watering the garden sparingly for this family. We need to be the ones who start fighting this because the water problem isn't going to get any better. Jordan's government is working to bring what it calls water security. This is the water ministry's high-tech control room where these workers keep watch around the clock to thwart water theft, a growing problem in Jordan. They also keep an eye on the Jordan Valley and water levels in both the Dead Sea and Red Sea, which are at the center of an ambitious water project. Jordan would tap the Red Sea and desalinate the water for use in communities in the south and across the border in Israel. Part of the project will see water that can't be fully desalinated brought here to the Dead Sea, where water levels are falling at an alarming rate. The plan also includes Israel selling water for use in northern Jordan and in Palestinian communities as well. Israel is now a world leader in desalination of seawater, which has turned much of its deserts green. The Red Sea Dead Sea plan is supported by this leading Middle East water expert. This will start to build trust among parties, which we need. Uh, Part of the problem in the Middle East is that we don't trust each other because of the conflict over so many years. So by having some projects that will show the layman or woman that there are benefits of talking to each other. Making fresh water from the sea is very energy intensive. So an environmental group in Jordan and Israel is floating a new proposal to harness the solar energy in Jordan's deserts and sell the electricity to run Israeli and Palestinian desalination plants. A water energy exchange with consequences that could ripple right across the Middle East. We need to confront the poverty and the, uh, the violence of this region. And, and if we can uh, uh, stabilize and bring prosperity through water and renewable energy as two critical natural resources, um, then we have a vision for uh, ha how to fight terrorism, how to fight um, uh, uh, you know, ideologies that are currently thriving. The water situation in the Gaza Strip is dire. Many families can't afford running water, and what comes from the pipes is often tainted. 
Most of the water is drawn from the Mediterranean Sea, but that's also where Gaza's wastewater is dumped. The United Nations warns of a humanitarian catastrophe in Gaza, adding to the worries across the Middle East that the region is on the crest of a water crisis. Derek Stoffel, CBC News, Amman.